it's around uh, 5.30 afternoon, early evening, Thursday. I'm not feeling very, very good today. In fact, I don't feel very good at all. I'll explain that. Sometimes I wish I lived on an island or somewhere, and it's just, just me. No one else. Because uh, those some other people, persons, are obnoxious, cunning, conniving, make you feel like crap. I like to call it the island of the snap. If you wanted something, you go snap and you get it. And you go snap, snap, and it's gone. That's what I wish. In my 67 years, I've come to dislike humans. You're not a very nice species. We are not a very nice species. We are, in fact, kind of ugly. Crack open a history book. Almost everything today went wrong. One thing after another, after another, after another. And my thoughts keep going back to little things. The next time, um, going to be talking to you, we'll deal with um, this is Ross and Alpha Jane. Alpha Jane taught me to, to steal. Um, I think she was eight years of age, I was seven. She taught me to do that. And Mrs. Ross was the teacher. Let's just say um, her hand could hurt. Way back then, teachers can even take a kid, a little girl. It's happened in this case. Just lifted up her desk and paint and spanked her little her her bum. We are not species. Humans, I saw after the third surgery, it's the nature of humans. It's not exactly wondrous, but it seems harmless unless you think about it. After um, the third surgery, I happened to be standing corner of Bloor Street and um, Bloor West. There are tower tower buildings in that area, and I happened to be standing um, one of them, but sort of a number of floors up, but still in the winter, and it was really cold, frigid cold, overwhelmingly cold. Below you, I could see the grates, subway grates. Uh, heat is obviously coming up for me, the grates. Uh, I was doing nothing while well, waiting or whatever I was doing, but what caught my note, uh, no, caught n my notice almost immediately, human nature, the basic human 
And we are not civilized. Look at that crap out of here. We are we're not in any slight, slight way uh, civilized. Crack open a history book. It's so you have to do that. We are rather, well, how we survive is a mystery. And we ain't very nice people. We're kind of an ugly species. Honest to God, if I die and have a choice to go somewhere, it ain't Earth. It ain't with us. Kind of like an ugly species. Anyway, I'm standing on those um, levels up. This is um, Bloor, as I mentioned to you, Bloor West and Young. It's the north western side. And I'm not looking for anything. And it, but but this is so simple. It tells you a lot about human and how cruel, how hypocritical, how lying we are. It was a cold day, I said to you. On there were the subway grates, sidewalk area, a lot of them. Subway, it's out of Toronto, you should know, but it's like that. And it was really cold. And um, I noticed one, but there were, there were Perhaps a number of them were curled on the grates trying to um, keep warm. They have consumed too much alcohol or taken whatever drugs they have been taking and they're out to cold. Well, really to cold. It's what they are. Uh, once upon a time, we would be able to pick them up and put them in a facility and uh, do something about them. We can't do that now. Uh, it's um, a yes or no sort of thing. We should pick them up and take them into warmth or to be themselves as they are. It's rather complicated, that one. I was not looking at this one particular in any way, but it was these humans, us, how ignorant species we are. I mean, it's really, you watch dozens and dozens and dozens of them go this way and that way and that way and this way. And the reaction is fascinating. Well, actually, most of it is ugly. So you have to keep in mind, he's curled up on one of those grills. I mentioned to you, it was very, 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 very cool. So you see packs of humans pass them by. It's curious the reaction. Most will um, walk towards them. Their eyes will see who that derelict bit of nothingness is curled on the grill. They just walk around and continue talking. Not even an observation, nothing. Not even an I'm sorry to see you like that. They just brief um, second in their conversation to whom they're talking and go around and continue. They haven't 
אין נאות. אני חושב שכבר אתה אומר לנו. Women frighten me in that way. They are the most good. Of male, females. Females are far more compassionate. For me, um, they've been, they, I tell them I had a brain hemorrhage and so on. They're a far more understanding. And I think that is a grand and wondrous thing. Men, males, Honest to God, I think most of them should be aborted. There's something special. The worst of them, the ugliest of them all, is a group of them will walk by the derelict who was out cold on a freezing day on a grill. And as they, after they realize that man on the grill, I look back to him and they begin to amazingly laugh. To what? Laugh. The one who is laughable is a piece of trash. would be that. It's a high percentage of them. Like I said, I've had a really bad day. Like I mentioned earlier, when I first had that headache, it's more than just a headache, it was um, overwhelming. It made me want to um, have a seizure and uh, vomit. It's very much like that uh, tele- or it was a film way back when. It's um, a linear um, vomit. Uh, it was a very famous Hollywood film, The Exorcist. I wish I had died then. I wish I had died to them. Given the circumstances of my life, I wish, honest to God, I wish I was never born. Most people may come across or so, what can I say? I don't, I'm not, I wish, honest to God, wish I never lived. You see people laughing at those who are desperate. They're totally desperate. They're freezing, they're freaking death. How could you have respect for such a person? Maybe that guy who's passing by and laughing, he's your banker. He's your lawyer, maybe even your surgeon. There's an ugliness in us. I told you a little bits and pieces. But it's never kind of endless. You may not understand this, but um, if I could, if I was kind of had the authority to do this, I would take the coastal regions of Alaska, British Columbia, Washington State, Oregon, and Northern California, but just the Northern. Part of California. It's very different than north and the south. And like that demented fellow who was once president of the United States, that obnoxious character, my 
I would do. It was build a huge fence from Alaska all the way down to Northern California. And keep those there who are half decent, who have compassion, who um, do not hate, who um, know when to laugh, not someone who is um, freezing on a subway grill. Keep thinking, as I mentioned the other day, how I was raped three times. Makes me cringe, you know. Makes me cringe, not just cringe, but that I put up with it. I would uh, think those three or four, or perhaps, um, or may not have been actual. Uh, educated there, they just dropped in. It's hard to tell. But you feel that way. I'm just talking about the depth of man. How can I put up with that kind of shit? Why do people do that? It really is tough. What I've not mentioned before, sometimes I do, do not do it yet. I'm not allowed to go in there, given the virus. But um, not far from me is an uh, institution um, they refer to as the old person's place, whatever. It's called Heidi Hall. It will strike you. I, I am not trying to make myself hard or anything. I'm uh, a scoundrel too, but at least I've got the courage to go in and feed those who have dementia. Uh, they're locked away, I believe, three rows. I would go to the middle one and I would feed them. One of the reasons is uh, I could have, I should have. It's through my guts to research, 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 go back, re-educate, educate, educate myself. I was smart enough to know that. The sad reality, though, hit me again to get today. I'm not exactly what I was anyway. I'm 67. But I'm much older, and it is very sad. And you wonder the reason why you should survive. I genuinely wonder about most people, and even their job function. They do what they seem to want to do, but the fact is they're just doing it for money. And what they really do is for crop. I feel very sad today. Sometimes I just wish, I know, it sounds hokey, you know, but I wish my beagle would with me. It's sort of bizarre. Beyond belief. Most um, callous pieces of crap would laugh at this because that's what they are. So I always wish I was with my beagle. I understand the nature, the personality of a dog. Humans I don't. 
So many are such trash, so ignorant, so unfeeling, so narcissistic. That narcissism is huge degree. But anyway, I just felt like saying this because I feel very depressed. And I wish I had died. It is peculiar, the oddity of surviving. Um, I mentioned not too long ago that 95, the odds were 5% I had left. Most would clap with joy that they would survive that, that they would um, discover cat spin, that their artery is bleeding three times. Finally, someone, something, I'm around, and to me, St. Catherine's, St. Joseph, for me, is incompetent. But they did rush me up to St. Michael's, and the only one I trust there was the nurse. She kept putting me back down into the stretcher. I have a speech problem, and it bothers me too. It gets on my nerves. I had to talk to Bell telephone today. I had trouble speaking because um, when I get emotional, my ability to speak becomes worse and worse. For me to write, to tell you this, I have to rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite until it's right. whole thing, you know, going up to St. Michael's, being subjected to the surgery, waking up, not being able to speak. And the only reason why I can speak is it has taken absorbed from my ability to write and read in order to speak half well. I cannot be articulate. Sometimes, quite often, well, almost every night, I go to bed, wish I never woke up. There are two time periods of my life Um, two opposites, but exactly the same. Um, my father had been transferred from Vancouver and I'm sorry you did family do. Um, I think I already told you that um, my impressions of Toronto, humidity, extremely tall apartment buildings, they were not so built way back then in Vancouver. Today there's tall uh, uh, condo building, but not back then. But then it was the um, pedophile. It was your introduction to me, it's your present to me, it's a pedophile. Sometimes I hate the East. 
That's not to say there were not present problems back in Vancouver, but there are much more of them here. Back then, you couldn't really talk to anything about it, but it was that pedophile. What he did to me is disgusting. Just like being ripped or raped in that university. It's one problem after another. You are an ugly people. Look, 90%, oh well, my percentage. I give you 20% who are okay. It doesn't change as boys even a man's person, one's thoughts, feelings. Just the whole thing bothers me. We ain't very much a nice species. Back then, and according to the pe um, pedophile, I couldn't do anything about it. I could not tell my parents. No one did anyway, you see. When I left him, um, I started to hysterically laugh. I can't explain that to you. I would hysterically laugh. When my dog died, the two are compared. Take Riley, um, he had many, uh, sort of many strokes. So I had to take him to an emergency hospital. The link was up near Brock U. And in the end, I ended, it, we could not go in the place in this, what is happening now. Sat um, back of um, the vat and there's canvas. And, um, the vet uh, brought uh, Riley in her arms. He was, was probably about 40 pounds. 35, 40, uh, 35. Anyone who knows a beagle can only but a love a dog. Beagles, uh, their IQs aren't exactly equal to a collie, but they're the sweetest, most wonderful dog any, any human, any family should have. So I ended up on my knees. There's Riley, he's lying out on the ground, see, and I'm holding his, his um, head. And uh, the nurse, or oh, the doctor, the vet, said um, she had given him a drug to calm him down. She said she could not stand him up, and he didn't exactly look like he was there. And she told me he died. She had injected him with a drug, and he was dead. That's her exact words. He, he is dead. In comparison to the. To me, hysterically, laughing at the pedophile. These are extreme things, you see, and you react. You don't care with your hell's angels. You're going to react in different ways, but you're going to react. Or otherwise, you're just going to you know, not have a brain.
The whole thing bothered me. I'm there with Riley. I'm on my knees. Riley was almost 16 years of age, you know. His first two and a half years were in a, a cage down in Louisiana. What kind of people would do that to some dogs? Keep them into a, in a cage. They do that down in American southern states. Northern Americans are appalled by it too, but they do down there. I know right. He's very happy to be with me. Like I said, I started to cry and I could not stop for some long. My attitude towards humankind is not hard. God's wish, and I ain't religious, I am agnostic. If I never was born, I would thank God that I was never born in a place like this. Most of you are very cruel. And um, that's it. <laughs>